Welcome to Verifone's introduction to the C18 self checkout configuration and reporting. The purpose of this video is to introduce you to the C18 self checkout configuration and reports. Beginning with application base 5311, Verifone C18 point of sale comes installed with two different operating modes. The first is the point of sale mode, which is cashier facing, and the other is the new self checkout mode which is customer facing. The self checkout mode will allow customers to ring up items and pay for them without any interaction from a cashier. Let's go over some minimum specifications for self checkout. Self checkout is only available on C18 points of sale running applications that are base 5311 and higher. All other points of sale are not compatible. The C18 may be switched from a point of sale POS, to a self-checkout SCO, and vice versa. For instructions on how to switch from POS to self-checkout mode, please view our self-checkout navigation video. Next, we are going to cover the configuration of the self-checkout. Navigate to Configuration Client and log in. After an auto upgrade, for any user role to view the self-checkout forms in Configuration Client, enable the three self-checkout functions for the role, under Security, Manage Users, and Configure Roles. Certain objects on the touchscreen for self-checkout may have images attached to them. Before we create our objects on the touchscreen, let's go over how to add images to the system, which can later be added to our touchscreen objects. Images are uploaded under Tools, and Image Upload. Images being uploaded, must meet file size, file format, and picture size requirements. In addition, the site controller also has limitations regarding how many images may be uploaded at one time, and how many images total, can reside on the system. A copy of these guidelines may be viewed by pressing the Guidelines link. Click Add, to upload an image. Image Upload allows users to add multiple images to the commander. The target pull-down menu allows the grouping of like images together. The image groups are labeled Carbon Common, Carbon Commander Workstation, Carbon Self Checkout, Welcome Screen, and Default. If you upload images to the Welcome Screen group, it does not need to follow the same resolution and file size guidelines that the other target groups do. Images can be uploaded from the connected computer, to the site controller, by clicking Browse. After clicking Browse, the browser's file selection window will open. First, navigate to the folder on the connected computer that contains the images, then select the images to be uploaded. A single image may be selected by clicking on the desired image, or multiple images may be selected by holding down the CDRL button on your keyboard and clicking the images. The files will populate in the file name area. Up to 50 images may be selected at one time. Click Open, to insert the selected images. The images have been populated in the selected images window. Clicking Save, will add the selected images to the default image group. Uploaded images are shown to the left. Images can be filtered by using the pull-down menu next to Filter By. To delete an image, select the image, select Delete, then select Save. Global Configuration Next, we're going to look at the global configuration of self-checkout. Hover over Store Operations, then Self-Checkout, and click on Global Configuration. This is the self-checkout global configuration window. Settings in this area, govern how all self-checkouts within the store, will behave. First, let's take a look at the MOP section. This section configures what methods of payment or MOPs will be accepted at the self-checkout. At initial launch, only network-based MOPs will be accepted. To configure the MOPs that will be available when using self-checkout, select from the available MOPs list. Multiple MOPs can be selected at one time by holding the CTRL button on the keyboard and clicking the selection. 
use the single arrow to move just the selected mobs, or the triple arrow to move them all, over to the selected list. Images may be added to the method of payment buttons. Clicking on the gray area to the right of the MOP, allows you to add photos. A separate window containing the site controller image library, appears. At the top of the window, are tabs for the different target groups. Select the tab that contains the desired image, then select the image. After selecting the image, it will appear in the gray area to the right of the mop. Any image may be used more than once, as is the case with our debit and credit mops in this example. Next, let's take a look at the departments section. Select departments from the available departments list. Multiple departments may be selected at one time by holding the CTRL button on the keyboard and clicking the desired departments. Use the single arrow to move selected departments, or the triple arrow to move all departments over to the selected departments list. PLUs assigned to departments in the selected departments list, will be allowed to be rung up at the self-checkout. All other PLUs will be denied, and an error message will appear on the self-checkout. For more details about sales operations, view our self-checkout navigation video. Next, we'll talk about sales parameters. Show hot items on scan screen, will show PL user menus that have been marked as hot items in category configuration, on the scan screen. Display lookup item prices, will display the item's price on the button, and always print receipt, will print a receipt for every transaction on the SCO. Next, let's look at theme configuration. Theme configuration allows you to select a custom logo for your attractor screen. Theme color chooses the accent and button colors. The default is Verifone's logo and color scheme. A six-digit hexadecimal code may be entered from the theme section. Or, you can select the color swatch button to the right of the theme color, to select from 40 default colors. You can also edit the color further by pressing, More. Let's select an image for our welcome screen. We'll select the image, highlighted in blue. To save the configuration, click Save. As of base 5340 and higher, new options for the welcome screen have been added. The Select Image button, has been moved to the welcome screen section. There is an option to keep the image its actual size, or, it can fit the 900 by 840 pixel image space. If the image is larger than 900 by 840, and actual size is selected, it will automatically crop the image to fit the image space. Background color and message color may be configured, and a custom message may be added to the welcome screen. Category configuration Next, we're going to look at the category configuration. Hover over store operations, then self-checkout, and click on category configuration. Categories are groups of items or menus, that can be rung up on the self-checkout, using the lookup button, or as hot buttons on the SCO. They will also appear at the top of the screen, once lookup is selected. Existing categories are listed to the left. This window shows items that are included in the selected category. Click Add, to configure a new category. All categories must have a name that should describe what is in the category. Categories do not need to match department names or content. Click Add Item, to add an item to the newly created category. Click on the blue area beneath Type, to add a category. Clicking on Type, allows the user to configure the touch button as a PLU, or menu. Selecting PLU, causes the Retrieve PLUs window to appear. Users can search for PLUs by number, product code, department, description, price, or any combination of those search options. Clicking Retrieve page returns a list of PLUs that match the search option. Select the proper PLU and click Done. The PLU number and item display name should auto-fill in. If menu is selected from the touch button type, users can choose from the list of pre-configured menus. Checking hot item, next to the PLU or menu, means the item will appear on the lookup screen, as well as the popular category. To add an image, click on the gray area next to the PLU. Just like the mops and the store logo, under global configuration, 
Individual items may have images assigned to them, from the site controller's existing image library. Items that do not have images assigned, will only display the description, along with the price if it is configured to show. Select an image, to add it to the item. Previews of the images will show, next to the items. Click Save, when done adding items. Hazard Base 5311 Menu items will also allow pictures to be attached to them. These pictures will only show up on the self-checkout, when that menu is selected. Register Configuration Next, we're going to look at the Register Configuration. Hover over Store Operations, then Self-Checkout, and click on Register Configuration. Register Configuration is where users can assign categories to specific registers. Remember, categories determine what items can be located using the Lookup feature on the Self-Checkout. As long as an item is assigned to a department configured in the global configuration, the item may still be scanned. First, select a register from the Select Register window. It is best practice never to use the default register. Select categories from the available categories list. Multiple categories may be selected at one time by holding the CTRL button on the keyboard and clicking the desired categories. Use the single arrow to move selected categories, or the triple arrow to move all categories over to the selected categories list. Click Save, when done. Now let's look at self-checkout, reporting. When the C18 is switched to self-checkout, the register number changes in reports, to separate sales tendered in self-checkout mode, versus point of sale mode. On the summary report by register, totals are recorded as two separate registers, if the C18 is switched between POS and SCO, in the middle of a given period report. In any report that is totaled, per cashier, sales that are rung up on the SCO, will fall under cashier 0, system. There is no need to close cashier on the SCO, as the cashier is never really opened. Sales are recorded to cashier 0 on a sale-by-sale -sale basis. There is also no need to count the drawer of the SCO, as all transactions are network-based. The system does not automatically log users out of the SCO, when closing the day, even if force cashier closed is selected in report configuration. The system does still journalize events, based on user. An example of this, is recording what cashier logged into the SCO, and at what time. When searching for SCO sales by cashier, in Transaction Manager, look for SCO sales. The self-checkout does have its own datasets that can be imported and exported. Take a minute to review the datasets below. More information about the self-checkout can be found in the SCO User Reference Guide. When this guide is made available, it may be found on the support portal under Technical Support, Support Articles, Petro and Convenience, General Info, Feature References. Thank you for viewing Verifone C18, Self-Checkout Training Video on Configuration and Reporting.